In my quest to find a cheap way of putting a winch in an EcoBoost F-150, I've been led here. Any intercooler roughly these dimensions should work, as long as the inlets and outlets run vertically as opposed to horizontally. The other key component is this CX Racing Y collector. The inlets and outlets have to be parallel and be near each other in order for this to work. And the goal of all this is to mount to this mini build XO2 winch, which in theory should bolt right up to this rough country winch plate. But I'll have a parts list and links to everything in the description below. So you only turn it 90 degrees at a time. You can't do any in-betweens. Take a look how close this is. What am I doing? Working on the winch. You want to help? Okay. Okay. You got your tools? Yeah. Can you get the screwdriver? Don't know. Turn around. Oh. Oh. Yeah, Those are Allen keys. Okay. 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 Hands out of your pockets when you're walking. Ah, uh, no, thank you. Well, that's it. There is a ton of room back there. There's this aluminum crossbar here that it's not a radiator support. I don't know if it was used for the top side of the intercooler mounting, probably. I guess what I'm getting at is I don't know what it does, so I'm taking it off. Give you more room for the clutch handle. 13, just right. Got it. They're two and a half inch. They are two and three quarter or something, apparently. But might not even need a band clamp on that. We'll put a winch in here. Who's gonna do this? Though? I might have to cut those down. So here's the secret weapon. These crimpers have a little indentation there. And if you, I believe it's that way, bite in here like this, and you compress this, or squeeze it, it's a nice little indentation. You do enough of those. Can start to form a little bead on your pipe. There you go, factory. And then uh, the ghetto bead over here. Either way, these will hold. Almost just messed that up. The uh, mountain has got to go to the inside. Almost messed it up.
Not too shabby. I'm actually pretty happy with that. We're definitely getting closer, but I still need to pull these off and wash them. Right there. Back up here. Cut up a 90 degree turn and to make a straight just to get this done. But... I'm on there. Some clamps on there. Not pretty, but. So have to figure out the blow off valve, but we'll get that put in cold side pipe and then uh these finger tight. Voila! About a thousand dollars cheaper than uh, the commercial alternative. I guess, I mean, just probably blow a coupling off before uh, I ever make enough loose to cause a problem. Welcome to the dungeon. Got the factory intercooler blow off valve unit with uh, the attachment point. I hacked off the, the factory intercooler. I'm going to try to plastic fuse, plastic weld, aka melt this back into the cold side pipe, which I have, you're never going to be able to see this, so eloquently uh, marked up a spot here. So I'm going to drill or cut out a hole probably with a Dremel. The crap part about it is I gotta do it upside down above my head. Simple, it'll be easy, it's all plastic. Just drill a hole, mount it up, it'll be fine. More or less, that's it. But I can't have it straight down, right? I need it out just a touch. Be good enough to at least get a test run in. I might have to go buy a band clamp, which will be like the one thing I still need. Can anybody else find anything in here? Oh, yeah. Hi. Hey, you got, any, you got any band clamps? Hi. It's like uh, it's like a very aggressive bracelet. Yeah, you tighten it and it. It's like yeah, I know what it is. I look. I think that's a three and a half inch, but it might work. So. This bracket's just a little too narrow. I'm gonna bolt this in here. Remount mount the horns to this. Mm -hmm. That was the plan. Now I gotta figure this out. I just to shove it through. Shove it, shove. I'll be right back. These these are threads that we can't use in the winter though, you know why? why? These are summer threads. Because some of the threads are up here and some of them are down on the ground. I'm dumb. We need to use winter threads. <laughs> that concludes the half race intercooler mod. I've been commuting in the truck daily and had zero issues. No codes, no check engine lights, nothing. As far as the truck is concerned, nothing has been changed. I hope you'll join me again for more projects. Next up will be a 100% bolt together DIY bed rack for less than $300. If anyone out there is interested in trying something like this themselves, I'll have a parts list and some links in the description. And thanks to everybody for checking out the video. See you next time.